Hey everybody, I'm going to weigh the Galapagos tortoises again. I missed the uh, end of October, 1st of November, and I'm late for uh, December. The uh, people who are tracking the weights to see the progress are a little upset with me. And I understand that, but, you know, in the, in the long day of tortoise keeping, weighing tortoises that you see are growing and growing well, sort of becomes, um, well, less necessary for the actual day-to-day -day keeper. So this one has um, a green spot over here on this marginal and up on this marginal. And we just saw the weight for 71 grams. And you can see, yeah, I didn't thoroughly wash them off. I'm not a big fan of washing tortoises. Anyways, uh, you can see that's what I'd characterize as pretty darn smooth growth. So let's look at another one. Let them drip off a little bit in the dish. So here we have 757 grams. And let's see what, what paint marks are on this one. There we go, a green dot on a rear rearish marginal on the right side again not highly washed off but you know you can see that doesn't affect the growth this is about as bowling ball smooth as you can get maybe you could do better I don't know we'll see um, and then let's look at another one whoops soiled soak water um, we have 419 grams Excuse me. A white dot there and a white dot there. This one's not, well, quite as smooth. You can see a little bit of uh, coning or pyramiding per scoot, but pretty insignificant. Yeah. Let's get a face shot. Put me down. Huh. All right, sorry. And then here's a. Uh, Another one. This one here, you can still see some of the modeling. We have 345 grams. Some of the modeling in the shell, it's not picking up so well on the camera, but in life you can see it. So we have a red dot and a red dot. So that codes out to a number. The problem with that whole marginal dotting system is there are many interpretations of which marginal has what number significant uh, uh, designated to it. I should. Oop, I'm going to re-zero out the scale. We've gained some wet tortoise weight. Hit the wrong button. Yeah, isn't it fun to watch people not be uh, super smooth on a video? Anyways. <clears throat> There's this guy, he's at 651. We got a, a blue dot there and a blue dot there. Oh, you can still see some of the modeling in him too. Whoops, there we go, focus. Yeah, you can see I'm doing this on top of the washing machine. My wife loves that. And then we got one more guy here to look at. He's feeling a little light. He's had a big poop, too. Um, here we have 639. And we have blue dot there. And let's see what else we got for marginals. Whoops, marginals. Just one blue dot there. And still see, look, there's a little bit of white creeping in at the growth seam. And the growth seams are much more apparent before I soak them to wash them so we can see the colored dots. Plastrons are all fine. A mm, little bit of uneaten food there. Um, they're, they're what some people call uh, living in a swamp, but high humidity and high fiber on the diet and you get little black bowling ball tortoises. I'm going to pause for a minute and grab the biggest one who is not so spectacularly smooth and then we'll conclude the video. 
So, here's the biggest guy. I don't know how well it's going to work to get him on the scale. He, he does not like being picked up and touched. I'm not a big fan of always handling animals, though there's virtues to it. Uh, sorry, buddy, but it's... So we have 20, 20, 2406, I guess, so his foot's touching the edge. Uh, always got to make it complicated, don't they? 2363. Okay, I guess he was pressing down with his foot or up or something. Anyhow, you can see he's not so spectacularly smooth. Um, this one had a different start. I don't know that this is ultimately going to be a long-term issue or not. You can see that little Galapagos tortoise face. And definitely a different face than an Aldabra. Yeah. Galapagos tortoises. Crazy.